Transcending history and the world, a tale of soul and swords, eternally retold. Hello and everybody, this is Dave back with another Rectify review. And today we're taking a look at Namco Bandai's Soul Calibur 6. Soul Calibur 6 is the latest entry in Namco's classic fighting franchise. Following in the steps of Tekken 7, Soul Calibur 6 successfully updates the classic gameplay with new mechanics that mix well with the old ones. Right off the bat, the most obvious change is the shift in timeline. Soul Calibur has always advanced the story in each successive entry with older characters, newcomers who use retired fighter style, and a storyline that spiraled away from the original cast. Soul Calibur 6 is essentially a reboot. Instead of advancing the story, they decide instead to go backwards, and they set the game during the time period of the original Soul Calibur, while also bringing fighters from the later games such as Tira and Zoslamel. The reboot theme is strong and carries into all elements of Soul Calibur 6. Characters, gameplay mechanics, and their single player modes all feel familiar, but they have enough new wrinkles to keep them fresh and exciting for the modern fighting fan. Ever since Soul Calibur launched with the Dreamcast, the franchise has been on the forefront of great single player content. That hasn't changed here at all, featuring not just one, but two different and diverse story modes. Soul Chronicles is the more traditional story mode. It has a main plot line telling the tale of Soul Edge and Soul Calibur and all the drama they bring to this stage of history. The main story takes place in a timeline and every single person on the roster gets their own individual chapters to play through that exist alongside the main plot. Overall, the stories are really well made and do a decent job of moving Soul Calibur's story forward. Just don't expect tons of CG cutscenes or even in-game fights in the level of Tekken 7. The scope, and I feel like the budget, is just a bit more limited in that respect. The other new mode is called Libra of Soul, and it mixes a bit of the best of the previous entries in one long RPG narrative-driven story. In Libra of Souls, you must create a character and embark on a storyline that features moral choices. You move around a top-down map from node to node and take on battles that harken back to the original game's Edge Master mode. Speaking of create a character, create a soul returns and it's incredibly diverse. It allows you to customize pre-made characters, except for the guest characters Geralt and the newly revealed 2B, or you can make a character from scratch. Despite the depth it offers, most of the gear pieces however themselves are disappointing. It has much less gear than 5, and most of the gear it does contain are just reused assets from the older games. The custom characters are also causing problems right now with the competitive community because customs are allowed in ranked fights. This causes problems because the custom fighters can have very different hitboxes, which throws balance out of the window. Players are making tiny Astaroths or super tall Talons, and entire combos just won't hit or work properly. Namco has already commented on this and I fully expect patches to make adjustments to this in the near future. Outside of that the game runs fantastic. All versions are locked at 60 FPS and although most of the models are brought over from the older games, they use a lot of very nice looking post processing effects to dress them up. Big trails of lightning, flashy super attacks and weapon trails are all great to look at while also not getting in the way of the action. The sound and music are also stellar, with the classic narrator returning to add flavor and gravitas to every battle like he always has. A good but not great soundtrack highlights all of the actions with some old favorites hidden away as unlockable secrets. Obviously the most vital part of any fighting game is the fighting itself. This is where Soul Calibur 6 shines brightest. The classic 8-way run style is back and faster than it's ever been. Every attack, parry, and throw is lightning fast and incredibly responsive to the touch. Old mechanics like the guard parry and the super attacks are joined by the new soul charge and the most controversial new addition to the game, the reversal edge. Reversal edge acts like an auto parry, allowing you to absorb several hits and landing a shot that does some damage then slows the action down as a rock paper scissors style mechanic plays out. The initial worry was that the flow of matches would be ruined by this new system and at first it can affect the flow of fights. 
As time has gone on, however, and the reversal edge has been explored a bit more, it doesn't ruin the intensity and speed of the fights. It is divisive, and some people like it, and some people definitely hate it, but it seems to have just as many counters and reads that add a fresh new layer to use for the mind games as any other mechanic, and I think it fits perfectly with what Soul Calibur is trying to do. Overall, Soul Calibur 6 has been fantastic to play against friends old and new, in the various single player modes, and even versus random opponents using all sorts of insane custom fighters online. The speed, gameplay, and atmosphere has been returned back to its roots. Like the announcer says, it's a tale of souls and swords, and it has thankfully been retold. I give Soul Calibur 6 a 9.3 out of 10. That is my Rectify review. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any comments, leave them down below, and if you want to fight, let me know. I'll do that too. I'm not that great. Be aware of my Zoslamel though. I will ring you out. Have a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And check out the full written review at rectifygaming.com. Have a good one, everybody.